Hey guys, how's it going? Cash here, president and CEO of real estate and So I just want to share a special moment with you guys. We, uh, we've had a property listed here in Casson Bay, uh, for quite some time. And, uh, we've been diligently working on it, trying to find a buyer, but today's a special day. We actually found the perfect, perfect buyer for this beautiful apartment in Casson Bay. And they're good friends of mine. Uh, I met them about a year and a half ago or so, and we listed the property a few months after that. And, you know, I b truly believe everything happens for a reason. And this apartment did not sell for the reason uh, of this buyer that bought it. She is from Germany and she's retiring. She's turning a new leaf and she's so excited to move to Las Trinas. And this apartment is what she decided to call home. Okay, this is a beautiful oceanfront apartment right here in Casona, one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen in my entire life. So really quick, what I want to run through is I'm sitting here with my good friend, Damon. He is uh, the husband and Tracy is outside. She's talking to a party that just knocked on the door and we're interested. Uh, I just got confirmation from my clients that they are moving forward and they are buying this. So I'm going to introduce you to Damon really quick and we're going to catch her emotion when we tell her uh, they've lived here for how long now? We've been here for three years. So, um, just a beautiful place. So this is Damon, as I said, and you're from? Seattle. So Damon is from Seattle. And uh, Seahawks. And how long have you been here? Three years. Three years. And what made you call this place home? Uh, it's perfect. It's the, one of the prettiest beaches we've ever seen. Um, totally. The water is amazing. Year-round, 82 degrees is, you know, in the ocean. Uh, the, by far the best beach on the island, but we've been all I over agree the Caribbean. And, uh, Completely. Blows away everywhere. I went to St. Martin and it blows away St. Yeah, Martin as well. The um, funky beach town that Lost Trainus is is just exactly what we were looking for. It literally touched all of our boxes you know we get sunsets you know we've got beautiful weather year round um it doesn't, doesn't get hit by hurricanes or anything like yeah that. So 75 yeah. years 80 years since we had a hurricane so as you guys obviously know i moved here with my family he called this place home three years ago uh so he's got some uh some items to attend to back in the u.s hence he was selling this unit so he's i predict he's going to be there for six months and he'll be calling me and saying cash find me another place i need to come we back. already miss it i already know uh, so the thing we want to share with you here this is going to be pretty cool his uh wife is outside chatting with somebody so she has no idea what's going on damon and myself have cracked three red stripes they're sitting on the table we haven't taken a sip yet but we're going to tell her and i'm going to capture the moment for you guys uh, but you know, it, everything about being here is about emotion and falling in love with where you live. Yeah, absolutely. We love where we live. And, and that's the slogan right there, guys. Yeah. Love where you live and you're going to see exactly yeah. how much that's the slogan. Is, yeah. yeah. And you just have the shirt on and coincidentally, I don't, I have one of my businesses back home. I have that shirt on right now. I actually ran over here right after the gym cause I had the buyer. I didn't want to waste any time. Came talk to them and the lady buying this, uh, is retiring. Okay. Uh, she's a beautiful lady and she was considering cabarete for a second and I did completely explained to her son, which is helping her in the purchase, uh, that that is absolutely not where you want to retire the, it, for multiple reasons. One being the beaches, they're a little bit aggressive if yeah. you have bad knees, yeah. uh, the environment, uh, there is a little more, uh, crime in those areas. Uh, it's not developing at the quick rate that lost we, chances. We look for 10 years for, for this place. Yeah. Ten years Literally yeah, ten 15 years. years for me. Yeah. 15 years. years. So same thing. And he looked at Cabarete probably too, and you oh, crossed yeah. it off your we've list. Looked, we've looked everywhere else on the yeah. island. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just so, so excited. And we're going to capture, uh, Angie's emotions once, uh, we get her in this unit. And right now what we're going to do is we're going to get, uh, when Tracy walks in here, yeah. she, we're going to capture she that for you guys. <laughs> she likes to talk. Yeah. She's, they're just a beautiful couple and they're friends with everybody here and they built a life here. Uh, and I'm just, couldn't be happier to see, uh, this being sold to such a beautiful person and Angie and so happy that I was able to help my good friends here. So what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to capture the moment when Damon tells Tracy, children, <laughs> when I or Damon, we'll see how this plays out, uh, tells her to start packing. They're coming home, guys. They're coming to Seattle, but I promise they're not going to stay there long. So when they come home, you better hang out with them, friends and family, because these guys are going to be back here in six months. That's my well, prediction. Course, first stop, North Carolina. But yeah, we're um, yeah, we 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 started missing it as we, the minute that we decided to sell it. And it's just it's so perfect. Look at that. Yeah, like look how perfect this. I don't want her to see the camera, but look at that. That's the ocean out there. There's Casson. Casson Bay right there, right? This is where we're at, Casson Bay, and look at how beautiful the water is. There's a restaurant there, Infinity Pool. Just everything you want in life is really encapsulated in this one beautiful place so you here's a moment of truth 
Hey. Oh. Am I on film? You're on film. We're gonna <laughs> we're capturing this moment. Oh. Where's mine? You left yours on the counter. We'll bring it for you. All right. So congratulations, guys. You're going home. Really? <laughs> yeah. Got her done. Start packing. Start packing. Thank you. I'm getting teary eyed. <laughs> it's amazing, man. Thank you for everything. Yeah, I mean, most people cry when they move to. We did. Move to <laughs> paradise, <laughs> but this is. This yeah, is huge it's for a us. it's a bittersweet goodbye. Yeah. So, so guys, okay. there you go. These are tears of joy. I don't know why I'm crying. Because <laughs> because we're leaving. Because you're leaving. No, that's amazing. No, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you and happy for the buyer. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Cheers. So this Cheers, is it, guys. A, a whole life. This is three years here yep. for you guys. Yep. Full three time. These guys really, really uh, made a difference here in Los Trinos, yeah. right? We, we, feel, we feel like we did. We, you know, we, the community is amazing, and we were able to get involved with the locals and you know, an orphanage. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah, we've we, met lots of expats who live here full time, or they. There's a couple of Canadians that we have and... problems with. But... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me too, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How's it feel? Surreal. It feels surreal for me too. Yeah. Because yeah. I really wanted this for you guys. I really, I truly did. Yeah. Well, um, we knew, we knew when the time was right and the buyer was right, it would happen. Yeah. And, that's why we weren't in any hurry. And you know what? I, t I say this to a lot of my clients: uh, don't feel pressure when you're here to buy or when you're trying to sell. Uh, when the time is right, uh, things will happen the way they're supposed to happen. So uh, that played out for one of my other clients too. But here's a good example. You know. It was, few months we have about eight to nine months numerous numerous buyers yeah. potential, buyers. potential buyers and here we are we found a beautiful home for somebody from germany and uh, you guys are and what i was telling damon earlier on the camera was i guarantee you'll be back here i give you six months you'll be calling me saying cash find me a place oh, well <laughs> you'll rebuy maybe, your place maybe, back. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Our, our place let's see we'll talk yeah. in six yeah. months yeah. Yeah. but i'm so happy for you guys again congratulations Thank you, Thank you, so very you guys much. are amazing Thank and lost trans is gonna miss you okay that's it guys uh I'm glad you guys, we were able to share this with you because this was a cool moment and uh, I still feel like crying. <laughs> Cheers. Love where you live. <laughs> hey guys, sorry, I'm restarting this camera because these guys are saying such valuable stuff right now. I, just, I feel it'd be a waste and a shame that you don't tell more people. Uh, what, what Damon was referring to here was uh, he was talking about the last two and a half years uh, of how that was. For them and they were in paradise yeah. the whole time they were quarantined on a beach but yeah just some really cool insight i don't think you're going to get that level of insight from too many people i i, I feel bad for you know the, the people why well, life life in the states itself is completely different than life in paradise um and you know it, it was a joy when we first moved down here but then after the pandemic hit to realize that we had such a great um <laughs> such a blessing to be able to be to, to be in paradise and go through that. We've been able to, to enjoy every day and not take any of it for granted. Um, it's just an amazing place. We can't, we can't wait to come back at least for visits, but um, we, um, we've made wonderful friends here. You know, the town has been amazing. You know, the, the friends that we've made will keep forever. What's some advice to uh, somebody that's watching the video and saying they feel trapped, they're somewhere in Canada or the U.S. and I focus on North Americans obviously. Uh, and they feel like they can't do this, it's not the right time, or it's too hard, or it's unsafe. What would be your one piece of advice to oh, anybody having dealt with if, if we would have waited, we wouldn't have done it. You know, I mean, um, any, any given circumstance in your life can change, mm -hmm. um, can change your entire future. And we have circumstances that are causing us to go back to the States, but if, had we waited for three years, we wouldn't have had this. You yeah, know? Such um, a good point. Yeah. You know, there's, yeah. there's, if, if, if you think something's holding you back, find out whether it really is or not. You know, if it's that holding you back, or it's just you. But that's um, my advice. To, to so if, to given the same circumstances we were in at the time that we that we purchased this, we would. I mean, lost train us would have been it. Um, I mean, everything about this place was perfect, mm -hmm. um, and it's just been just been a blessing. I mean, it's the friends that we've made will we'll keep for for a lifetime. Completely. And they're solid. They're solid people. The friends are solid. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, people, the quality people of people here, is incredible. Yeah, people here have a completely different outlook on life. It's 
it's not I'm on this endless you know vacation. It's this is my life. But things are are more simple. They're they're more simple here. Well, the, the reason I'm doing this is uh, insight from people that have done it and lived here uh, in this environment is something you really need to tune into and pay attention to because it's invaluable. Oh yeah. yeah. The the people here they don't consider that they're living in paradise like it's one constant vacation this is real life but they live a simpler life and you know we're not worried about the hustle and bustle of getting to work or you know if mm -hmm. something's out of the at the grocery store it's not a big deal you adjust how you eat you adjust yeah. what you buy at the grocery store um, and that's that's yeah. really huge patience is probably um, one of the biggest lessons yeah. you know the the um, the pace of life here was, it's not just, yeah, it's relaxing and stuff for leisure or whatever, but everything happens at a different pace, you know. Yes. Um, island time is real, but it's, you know. For, it's healthy, though. Yeah, for it us. It is yeah. healthy. For, for us, we it's thought it was inconvenience healthy. at first, and, you know, and then, then you get, when you get acclimated to what it really means to be, to live in island time, you, all the stress just And moves. how good it feels. It's yeah. starting to feel that now. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. And, and realistically, it's breaking our heart that we're we're leaving. This is this wow. has definitely been paradise. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. No, the, so yeah, sorry guys. It was just, you, they were saying some stuff that was just so valuable. Cat actually is getting used to me too. A little late now. <laughs> so guy usually running and hiding. Every time I come in, but I think he knows it's time to go too. They come with you? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah they're family. So these yeah. little guys, they live here. They've lived in paradise as well. While you guys were in, they uh, were they were born in paradise. They were born in paradise. Yeah. They're going to be coming to the U.S. Seattle. Oh. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So if you're looking and thinking and debating it and doubting it, uh, I wouldn't do it too much longer because life is short. And that's kind of uh, kind of the moral of the story here. Life's short. You never know what's going to hold you back, and if nothing's holding you back, just your mind and. Uh, your brain is getting in the way of uh, your heart, then don't wait too much longer. Reach out, and uh, we'll do our best to help you out just like we did with these guys. That's it. Thanks, guys. Remember, love where you live, and uh, we will see you soon.